the ongoing vicious uh, criminal bombardment of Gaza uh, and uh, violence in the West Bank and the absolute unanswerable need for a ceasefire and for the United States of America to lead in that regard and to take a firm position with Netanyahu, with his uh, government. The world watches in absolute horror and we're at a tipping point. And big decisions now need to be made, not least in this country. And we've had very frank conversations uh, with individual uh, members on the Hill, with the administration itself. And our, our message has been very clear. We come here uh, as friends, as people who have had the benefit of great support from the United States for our own peace process. And we acknowledge that. But in respect of Palestine, they have got it dangerously, badly wrong. And the, the ceasefire now, that, that has to be the absolute priority for everybody concerned. But what do you say to people back home who feel that's a bit of a cop-out, that words are not enough when it comes to what's going on in, in the Middle East, that the Sinn Féin should be boycotting the White House this St. Patrick's Day? Well, of course, words aren't enough. I, I'm not talking about words. I'm talking about concrete action. We need a ceasefire. We need to end the slaughter of women and children in Gaza. 30,000 deaths now. I will talk to anybody, David, anywhere in a bid to stop that. That's my responsibility and my duty. So the question isn't why uh, did you come? The question has to be how could you possibly stay away? In, in a way, we have a, a unique position as, as Irish political leaders in that we have a very strong uh, relationship with the United States, very strong, unparalleled access in a week like this. And we also have a very strong uh, relationship with the Palestinian struggle and a strong commitment to freedom for Palestine and self-determination and end the occupation. How on earth could I possibly justify not coming and not, not pressing that case in the strongest possible terms?